Emotion is the product. Being a recording artist or a record producer is in most ways a very strange job. What we make can't be seen. What we make is not even an object. Sure, people come along later and attach what we've done to another object as a delivery system, but the physical object is not what we have spent our efforts creating. The product we produce is much more elusive than that. If you zoom all the way out, what we do for a living is this. Vibrate air molecules in such a way that when these air molecules bump up against another human life form, that life form feels something. And that last part, the part about feeling something, that's the key. Vibrating air molecules is the easy part, especially with all the gear we now have at our disposal. With a modest investment in technology, we can be the masters of frequency, volume, and timbre, and it turns out that all of these are beside the point, or at best are just the means to an end. The thing that determines whether or not our adventures in vibrating air molecules is worth anything is what happens neurologically to the organism whose epidermis, eardrum, and cochlea become stimulated by our stored-up vibrations.